Attention, traffic, storm, warning. This is a tropical storm warning. A tropical storm warning is in effect for the following counties. In Arkansas, Garland, Grant, Hot Spring, Jefferson, Lincoln, Lone Oak, Pulaski, and Sally. This is W5RHS Repeater. Tropic storm warning. This is W5RHS Repeater. Morning, Kelly. K5, JMK. How's it going today? See if it's going to get rough after a while. Yeah, I'm driving into work, so um, I'll be inside when all that's happening. Hopefully it doesn't get too crazy out. And I know of a tropical storm warning issued for our area of the state. Yeah, I know. I was thinking the same thing yesterday. That's kind of odd, uh, especially as much inland as we are. It depends on some factors, but it may even still be a high-end tropical storm. Very low in Cat 1 when it gets to southern Arkansas. Oh, yeah. I saw a pretty cool video they had of, um, I guess the satellites were doing it and showed all the lightning strikes in it. It was kind of neat. watching uh, one guy on YouTube live, another guy, I was watching Reed Timmer on Facebook on the other, uh, he was streaming in the middle of it, so yeah. I, I got to see it when he hit Lake Charles, and got to see a lot of buildings come apart. Well, hopefully, uh, those people were at took note of the warnings and evacuated and didn't try to stick around like they do sometimes. station out there, go ahead. I think I might double somebody. Well, maybe I didn't double with somebody. There's another station out there, though. Go ahead. Going once, going twice, gone. Okay. Well, I bet old Ron's uh, rested up for today. In the next few days, he's going to be busy. I hope so. I hope he's all right. I guess time will tell. He on this morning. They usually on under drive time, it seems like. I like it's just you and me so far. Yeah, the past few mornings, I've been on monitoring, but I had a kid screaming in the back, so I wasn't going to torture y'all with that in the background. Oh, what was the unhappy camper unhappy about? Well, that's the thing. They don't really know what they're unhappy about. They're just unhappy makes it really hard to figure out what they want. Oh, he's not big enough, to, old enough to tell you yet. Well, one of them is, and the other one is, uh, is not, but the one that's old enough sometimes doesn't tell you. She'd rather just be unhappy. You know, I've seen a lot of women that are that way, even when they get a, lo get a lot older. They'd rather be unhappy and they won't tell you why. Boy, I'm going to get in trouble, but, but I'm telling you the truth. 
Yeah, I know what you mean. Guess it starts at an early age for some of them. Good morning, gentlemen. N5 JSH. Well, there he is. Oh, geez. Well, do you all have your water wings properly inflated and tested for leakage? Ready, Freddy. Just hope to goodness we don't lose power. That thing still might be a Cat 1 when it gets to Arkansas. Hey, good morning, Jason. Yeah, I got the old, uh, generator fired up yesterday to make sure it's going to work. So hopefully I don't have to use it. haven't had to use it since I've had it. K5JMK. It'd be nice if we could weather this and retain our power. I don't have a generator. I wish I did, but uh, Fortune has not smiled on the purchase of one yet. Eventually, I plan to get one, though. Get yeah, one of them predators from Harbor Freight, about four or five thousand, maybe even bigger than that. They're not too terribly expensive, believe it or not. Yeah, mine's not a real big one. It's like um, 3,500 continuous, but it'd be enough to keep the refrigerators going, and uh, that's all I really care about. Maybe some fans, but uh, it definitely won't run the whole house. Yeah, those Harbor Freight ones, they uh, seem to get pretty good reviews. Them, them Predator generators, they've got them down pat, especially the inverter ones. They are awesome. They are, they do. They're quieter than the Hondas, and they actually hold up better than the Hondas. Seems like, and they have more power output than the Hondas. Cost about way less than half of one of the Hondas. Oh well, just need to purchase one of those Generax, set it outside on a concrete pad surrounded by gravel. You know, one of those is about half the size of a tool chip. Oh, yeah, those are nice. Uh, where my mom lives, pretty much all her neighbors have them. They lose power so much out in the country. And been trying to talk her into getting one, but uh, they're proud of those. But that's the way to go if you lose power very often. You get a big, uh, a big one. And get, and get the house wired with a manual disconnect so I could switch everything over manually. That's a whole lot more affordable than the Generax, but a natural gas powered Generac would be nice. W5RHS mobile. Right. I was in the kitchen getting me a drink when I heard you talking about old Screaming Reed. Did he not get blown away down there? I watched him all night until he went there at that, uh, well, I think it was a Capital One building that had all the windows blown out of it. No, he didn't scream any. He was quite professional. I think he's called mellowed out quite a bit. Well, whether by maturity or medication, I'm, I'm happy to hear of it. professional now so he uh he's calmed down quite a bit from when his face got all contorted back in the early 2000s screaming back up back up it helps the ratings up to a certain point and then it becomes boring what are you doing out and about aren't you still confined to quarters Uh, one of the health units needed a new battery charger for their AWIN radio, and I just managed to get it on the courier so that it will be up there today, somewhere just maybe just minutes ahead of the storm arriving. I need the AWIN for They won't ever turn them on. It's just my job to make certain they have the equipment. Uh, if they uh, choose not to turn it on and uh, use it, you know, that's that's neither here nor there. Call the new ham up.
operators and the ham stations at the different hospitals. What good did it do? They don't ever turn it on. Well, don't let the uh, lackadaisical uh, performance of the uh, metro region uh, discourage you. Some of the other regions are taking that whole project quite seriously. Yes. Last week, and uh, there's maybe three uh, hospitals that checked in. It was kind of surprising. Anyway, I just pulled up to work, so I'm going to sign off here. I'll listen for a little bit longer, but uh, good to talk to you all. Have a good day. K5, JMK. Have a good day. 85 FU. WGD. Last station. That kind of quick key. Go ahead. That was my quick tone. I'll let you guys carry on, but John, I just wanted to say I'm glad to hear you in there. Been worried to death about you. Glad to hear you talking for a change. Hope you're doing very, very well. Y'all can hear continue on inside of it today. Good wishes. Um, yeah, I'm doing good now. Uh, had a medical event. Was supposed to be an outpatient thing, and it turned into a four-day hospital stay and six weeks of recovery, so... Uh, you never know how these things are going to turn out sometimes. But uh, anyway, uh, rumors of my untimely demise are premature. 85 FU. In other words, um, sorry to disappoint some people, but you're still alive. What a movie that most people are uh, familiar with. I'm not dead yet. Then you're supposed to go, I feel happy. Wouldn't go so far as that. Many times in my life and in the recent year or so, I felt more along the lines of the uh, poor cat being uh, dusted like a rug against the wall over there. Uh, the poor lady. <laughs> <laughs> down here in a little bit and uh, make a pass by a grocery store to look at the empty shelves. And uh, after that, I'll go home and hunker down in my bunker and uh, wait to see how deep the rainwater gets at my front door. Well, in the low-lying area that you're sitting in, you probably would be money ahead to go ahead and, and attach some... Uh, party barge uh, flotilla pontoons to the sides of that place and if the uh, water rises so does your house well that could be although I did learn back when we had the big flood event here a while back uh, I found out just exactly what the river level is compared to my front door and at its highest level where it actually uh, had one of the roads I drive on uh, completely underwater. And it was deep enough that uh, the car that rolled off the side of the road uh, in mid-flood uh, went in completely over its roof and disappeared from sight. Uh, at that level, my front door is 12 feet higher up. So uh, I'm not too worried about flooding at my house, actually. Wow, that's impressive. I didn't realize that you were that high up above the uh, flood stage. I did some looking at the uh, uh, USGS charts, actually, uh, once I found where that water level went to, uh, and, and then just very carefully uh, looked up the, uh, the contours from there to where my house sits. And uh, like I said, about 12 feet. Um, high enough that if the flood water ever gets up to my house, Pine Bluff is, uh, uh, you know, the, if you looked at Pine Bluff, you'd just see a bunch of hands with three fingers stuck up in the air and, uh, and, and bubbles rising out of the water, and that's all there would be down there. Tropic storm warning. This is W5RHS repeater. 
Attention, tornado. What? The National Weather Service has issued tornado watch number 454, effective until 4 p.m. This watch includes the following counties in Arkansas, Arkansas, Grant, Hot Springs, Jefferson, Lone Oak, Prairie, Pulaski, and Saline. Remember, a tornado watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA weather radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. This is W5RHS Repeater. Uh, is a little sooner than what they said earlier, so there we go. That'd be five or eight. More important than what I was saying, I gotta go with the story. You guys have a good one, and we'll catch you later. N one O U G. Catch you later, Joe. Be safe. M five J F H. Anyway, uh, try to stay alive during the storm this afternoon. Eighty five F U. I will bat my hatches and uh, tie myself to the ship's mast and weather this storm out. Have yourself a good day and uh, be safe out there on the roadways. It was good hearing you today. 73s, N5 JFH, I will be clear.
just kind of battened down the hatches around here, put up all the loose stuff, fueled the generator, ran it a little bit. I run it every week anyway, but I ran it a little bit anyway, and got ready, switched over to the storm antenna, put the radio on crossband and a backup. I've got a backup battery system for it. I put it on there, so I'm on battery for now. But uh, glad you glad to hear you on there. Well, copy that. We appreciate the thoughts and everything. I had to go and have a biopsy of my left kidney, I don't know, maybe a week or ago or something to that effect, and it's been kind of sore, so I hadn't been, you know, in here messing around with it or anything to that effect. But anyway, uh, I'm just sitting in here watching all these uh, weather statements coming out from the weather service on the chat, and uh, they've issued a hurricane local statement for pretty much everybody here in the central part of the state, and I was going to take a look at it and see what it says or anything. You're talking about uh, uh, having a slight shift in the track of the storm. It's making it move a little bit more to the north and east, and it's going to bring tropical storm force winds and uh, flooding rain farther into eastern Arkansas, so just thought we'd uh, make mention of that. Anyway, I'll sit by here and... Uh, Got to eat breakfast and everything. My wife's bringing it to me right now, so I'll say 73. He's KG5, RON, and the dog's in here, too. So, yeah, he's ready to eat, too. Hey, Mr. Ron, good talk to you. We'll be listening today. Enjoy. 1LUG, I'll be clear for now. Yeah, Ron, as of a few uh, minutes ago, they're still reporting that to be a Category 1 hurricane. If it persists, we may actually get a hurricane within the boundaries of uh, Arkansas, 85 FU. Yeah, copy that. All kinds of flood warnings down in northern and northwestern Louisiana, Shreveport and everything. Uh, it's just the eye wall or the eye, quote-unquote eye, that's left of it is still just to the east of Shreveport, but it'll be up this uh, in Arkansas soon. to watch for there. If it uh, maintains its hurricane status while it crosses the border, we'll definitely have a day for the record books. Yeah, copy that. And we'll have to, with all the uh, wind turbulence up in the atmosphere and the conditions right, you know, with uh, humidity, high humidity uh, and the such, uh, we, uh, you know, there's a, a tornado watch a tornado watch in effect for our area, so we'll have to keep a close watch on that. You know, we got flood warnings for the Saline River and the Washita Rivers, and, uh, you know, with uh, the, uh, like I said, with all the moisture, yeah, we're going to get some rain dumped on us, so uh, there it is. Uh, I got to eat breakfast here right quick. I got a dog that's ready. KG5 RON. I'll be monitoring. Have fun while it rains dogs and those other critters. 85 FU. Yeah, John, and thank you for not saying that the C A T word because he knows that and he can spell too. KG5 RO and I'll be monitoring. This is AD5 EO with the Saline County Aries Weather Net. Just to remind you all. At this time, we are under a tropical storm warning until further notice, a tornado watch until 4 o'clock p.m. this afternoon, and a flash flood watch until Friday evening at 8 o'clock p.m. Rain is just starting to overspread the area, and National Weather Service is saying that the storm is taking a little more northeastward track, which hopefully means it will go much further east and leave us out of it. For Saline County Aries Weather Net, this is AD5 EO. AD5 EO from KF5 TOC. KF5 TOC, it's AD5 EO. How are you doing, David? Hi, John. Uh, pretty much like everybody else right now, I think uh, just waiting for the uh, for the bad stuff to get here. C 
see just how bad it's going to get. It's uh, it's kind of interesting. Some of the stuff I'm reading this morning and uh, and hearing uh, sounds like uh, it could be quite an event here in a large area of Arkansas. Yes, sir. There was mention on NWS chat yesterday evening that this is the first time they have issued a tropical storm even watch for Arkansas. Yeah, I saw that, John. Uh, we're making history again. Uh, 2020 seems to be the year for that uh, in, in uh, not any good ways so far, unfortunately. Uh, it's uh, it's been a very uh, a very trying year, so uh, this will be interesting. Um, yeah, in fact, uh, the last time I checked, I think it's still wind speeds has it rated at a category one hurricane as it continues to move over land. Uh, so if it continues to progress like it is right now, uh, they might have to issue a hurricane warning for southern Arkansas. We'll just have to see. Yes, sir. I mean, the initial thought was that Laura was going to fizzle out as it uh, went across Cuba and become nothing, and Marco was going to be the one to watch. So what a difference a few days makes. Well, I think it just goes to show that uh, despite our uh, technology and best efforts, Mother Nature still has the final say, and uh, she's full of surprises. Well, uh, my neighbor across the street uh, left uh, this morning for Birmingham, Alabama with his uh, daughter. Uh, They're moving her to Birmingham, and I was thinking to myself, the timing on that wasn't very good, but uh, they could have uh, quite the adventure with the uh, the moving truck and a car. But uh, anyway, I'm happy to be uh, hunkered down here at the house for all of this. That's a good place to be, and hopefully your lovely wife is there with you. Well, that would be great if she was, but today is her Friday, so she did go into work. Told her I wasn't too concerned about her getting there, but uh, she was to call me before she even got into her vehicle to return home. So we'll see what it looks like by middle of the afternoon. Oh, boy. Uh... If I were you, I would have just handcuffed her there and kept her at home. Well, the thought did occur to me. Uh, it would have been a lot more fun. But uh, anyway, she's uh, she's a very dedicated employee, and uh, uh, she says, uh, strange as this may sound, a lot of people love to come out uh, and go eat out when the weather is the worst. I don't know uh, what the mentality is with that, but she says it uh, could be that uh, they'll have a lot of uh, business today. So uh, she she wanted to be there. I wanted to have her here. But uh, anyway, like I said, we'll see what happens. All righty, then. Uh, hopefully the, the new stealth ram will fare well for you. Oh, yeah. I mean... Uh, with uh, with this being a tropical storm moving through, you know how it is. You'll get uh, a band move through with uh, heavy, heavy rain, and then uh, there'll be a little lull in the action till the next band gets here. And so uh, we may just have her wait uh, in between bands to make a run for it. We'll see. But uh, anyway, uh, we'll be watching the weather closely. Just wanted to let you know we'd be uh, monitoring the repeater in case you happen to need anything today. Alrighty. Well, as you're aware, I can't see what's going on outside, so anything you see that's of significance, let me know. KF5TOC, be safe. We'll be here monitoring AED5EO. Okay, John, sounds good. Um, we will, uh, like I said, monitor the frequency, and if we see anything interesting, we'll let you know, and you can uh, uh, send it on to chat, I guess. Talk to you later, John. 85EO from KF5TOC. Tornado, watch. This is W5RHS. Repeater. Attention. Flash flood warning. The National 
National Weather Service in Little Rock has issued a flash flood warning for Grant County in central Arkansas, northern Cleveland County in southeastern Arkansas, Jefferson County in southeastern Arkansas, Lincoln County in southeastern Arkansas, central Clark County in southwestern Arkansas, Dallas County in southwestern Arkansas, Hot Spring County in southwestern Arkansas, until 5.20 p.m. at 1.53 p.m. Doppler radar indicated thunderstorms producing heavy rain across the Warren area. Between 2 and 3 inches of rain have fallen today. Another 1 to 2 inches of rain is expected through late afternoon. Flash flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly. Hazard, flash flooding caused by thunderstorms. Source, Doppler radar. Impact, flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways streets and underpasses as well as other drainage and low-lying areas. Some locations that will experience flash flooding include Pine Bluff, Arkadelphia, Malvern, Sheridan, Star City, Rison, Whitehall, Alzheimer, Gould, Rockport, Cattle Valley, Lee Ola, Grady, Carthage, Latsco, Poen, Perla, Lamont, Dogwood and Jenkins Ferry State Park. Additional rainfall amounts of 1 to 2 inches are possible in the warned area. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. This is W5RHS Repeater. Well, there's that. Thanks, Sam. KG5RON, K5WRS. Yeah, go ahead, Bill. KG5RON. My uh, wife just told me that you were trying to get hold of me on the radio. Well, yeah, I was just hollering to see, uh, I heard you talking to talking a little bit earlier to Scott about uh, your beans and peas. I was going to see if you had any spares. Well, right now I don't, Ron. The, uh, I'm hoping that this, this rain, that they'll maybe kick in and we'll get some more off of them before they start going south. But I'll just, I just have to wait and see. Yeah, copy that. Yeah, we got flash flood warning there pretty much for the uh, southern uh, third or maybe southern half of Arkansas, not in Saline or Pulaski yet, but uh, it's progressing up to the north and north-northeast. So uh, most of the nasty stuff, if anything, uh, will probably be in the eastern part of the state because it's kind of shifted to the north-northeast. But we're going to get some heavy, more heavy rain, so just thought we'd advise you of that. No, thanks. The closer I seem to get up here to Camp Robinson, the more it seems to be raining. I don't think we had anything planned for outside today, so I'm not going to worry too much. I'll be in where it's dry. Copy that. Well, just in case, you know, uh, you have to work till dark 30 tonight, uh, when, you, when you're heading back, watch out for possibility of uh, floods, you know, anywhere uh, on your route that uh, has a chance of flash flooding. You know, just uh, remember it's harder to see the water at night. Yeah, I know. Suppose we don't get in a situation like we did that one night when I was going home, I'll be a happy camper. Oh, yeah, copy that one. You had that uh, tornadic couplet right on top of you there. And I, <laughs> you, you talk about somebody getting very nervous very quick, you know. Uh, it was right on exactly where you were sitting at when it updated. The, uh... I told Rita when I was talking to her on the phone, she might order to park on the south side of the creek tonight and use the bridge to get across to get to the house because I said, that looks like what I may be doing also. I sure don't want to drive across the creek when it's up. Yeah, I 
Not in my new truck, anyway. Yet. KG5RON, and that's uh, good reasoning there, because the simple fact, you can only see the surface of the water. You can't see how much road or dirt or whatever's been dug out underneath the surface. You know, it might look like a normal, you know, just a little bit of water, and you drive over, and it's six, ten feet deep, you know. So just be on the safe side, and I'll be kind of monitoring off and on during the day or during the afternoon because, uh, Today's my uh, my wife's uh, uh, birthday uh, party. Her, par her birthday was yesterday, but they're ha all the family's coming over and taking over the house tonight to do some cooking and stuff, so I'll be in and out. I will tell Debbie I said happy birthday. Yeah, I'm going to have me a radio to one of my HTs tonight, even though I'm not supposed to. So I'm going through the gate here, so I'm going to have to put this mic down for a bit. And Ron, we'll wish you 73 and talk to you later. K5WRS. Okay, Bill. Yeah, good luck shut down. They don't like it when you come in talking on the radio. You know how things are nowadays. You know, they might suspect something, you know, a, a terrorist attack or something, you know. But anyway, 73s, be careful out there, and we'll try to keep on top of this. Uh, looks like mostly uh, rain event for sure. But anyway, kg 5 and I'll be clear. W5RHS, W5RHS, this is KG5RON, uh, monitoring. That's negative contact, KG5RON, monitoring. Uh, just information, two miles south of Benton, where I'm located, we got winds about 17 miles an hour and gusts up to about 25. Heavy rain, and uh, seems like the wind's picking up. No further, KG5RON. Everybody needs to keep a close watch on how uh, you know how much rain we're going to be getting. It's going to loosen up the soil and uh, trees with the wind blowing. There will be a lot more trees coming down. Just information for anybody that has a tree close to their house. Something to that affects. When you get flooding rains, the water becomes so saturated, super saturated, it will not hold a tree in the ground, and the tree roots are not that deep. They're pretty much uh, spread laterally across the surface, uh, just under the surface, within a foot or two. So winds uh, catching a full a tree that's got full of leaves, you know, will push it over. So just be uh, advised of that. Winds are picking up right now. Some damage already reported in Camden with uh, high winds, and I think the uh, emergency operations center down in Camden got some damage and a lot of trees down on houses, and it seems to be shifting on off to the north-northeast. Uh, the eye wall is, uh, you know, uh, El Dorado is on the uh, northeastern eye wall right now, and it is tracking on up to the north-northeast, so uh, there'll be a rain over in the eastern part of the state now, too, so just be advised and keep a close watch. Wind gust of about 30 right now. KT5RON, clear. N5JFH, N5JFH, KT5RON, Jason, you monitor. Go ahead, Mr. Ron, N5JFH. Oh, I had nothing, you know, really, you know, I just wanted to check in with you and see how you're doing. Okay. Oh, I'm on the mend. I was kind of under the weather there for a couple of days this past weekend, and it's been a, a slow transition towards normal again, but I'm getting there. Um, I heard that you're uh, having a get-together for Miss Debbie today to celebrate her birthday, and Glad to hear that. Just hope it don't get too severe over that way. Tell everybody to bring their water wings. Yeah, copy that. Copy that. Right now we've got uh, very torrential rain and winds about, eh, I don't know, 30, 25 to 30 anyway. So uh, 
We're just uh, starting to get the wind and the rain now. Already had some uh, flooding issues uh, around South Amina and down around El Dorado, so that that's this away here from El Dorado. So we'll just have to wait and see. Well, if you do have to go out for any reason, be sure and throw on that slicker I gave you and keep you dry. I don't know, is your wheelchair waterproof?
a power pole and knock it out before the weather even gets here. It doesn't seem like you can win, does it? That's what happened to us. And my dog doesn't like the fact that my parents aren't here. And he's throwing himself a little fit. Oh my goodness. Got a moody dog. I heard him in there singing. Pitiful. <laughs> he's pitiful. He can cry with the best of them. Yeah, copy that. Uh, but anyway, uh, guys, I'm going to go ahead and uh, sit on the side here for a little bit. i got to get in there and get cleaned up. Everybody's going to show up, and they don't want me to be all funky. I do dress, I mean, I, I do pretty up real nice when I when I get dressed up and everything. All righty, Mr. Run. Well, go have yourself some fun and take care of that pretty lady of yours, and we'll look for you later on this evening, I reckon. 73, sir. N5, JFH. You listen. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, Tracy and Jason, y'all kind of doubled up. I heard Jason because he's a lot closer. But uh, I'll say 73 to you guys there. And, uh, yeah, my pond's coming up. It's full. It's going to be over full. It'll be overflowing out there, there on the spillway part. So... But anyway, uh, as of right now, I've got about, I don't know, maybe 20 mi 25 mile an hour winds and got heavy, heavy, heavy rain. So uh, the right ground can only take so much, and then it washes off and we'll have flooding. So anybody, and I mean anybody in the state that's out, uh, especially this evening, if, uh, you know, uh, you have an area that's prone to flooding, be very aware of it because you cannot see especially at night, how deep that water is. You can't see during the day how deep it is. So just uh, avoid it at all costs, and remember what they tell you. Turn around, don't drown. I'll be uh, in and out on here during the afternoon. Everybody have a good one. 73s to all. KG5 or I'll be clear. Joe later. KC5, you got Q as well. All right, Tracy. Well, I hope they get their get your power back on for you here real soon. It's good hearing you, sir. Talk to you later. Seventy threes in five JFH. This case of all wind is information. Uh, extremely, extremely heavy rain falling two miles south of Benton right now, on an average of about an inch and a half an hour or more. So. Uh, it's just received, just gotten here, so here we go. KG5 all win, clear. KG5 all win, W5DSD. Yeah, go ahead, KG5 all win. Hey, Ron, are they going to put up any uh, weather nets or anything this evening that you know of? Uh, as of right now, uh, no, but I'm, I'm on here as, uh, you know, as much as I can, uh, putting out about the, you know, the rainfall and everything. But as of right now, uh, they're talking about the uh, tornadic situation is uh, really diminished right now. Uh, it's more shifting over toward the north and, e and eastern part of the state where they might have issues with that and maybe Tennessee and Mississippi. Ron, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Some of us are stuck at the old salt mines today, and uh, I brought the amateur radio just so I could uh, kind of listen in to anything that might be going. Appreciate you. W5DSD. Copy that, my friend. No doubt about it there. My wife come out going, woo, we got rain. I says, yeah, and a chicken has lips, too. Anyway, uh, 73s, and if there's anything comes up or anything, I'll try to keep up with it. Having a birthday party for my wife, so, you know, it's going to be kind of in and out for me, but uh, we'll try to keep up the top of it. KG5 all in. Be careful out there and be safe. KG5 
G5RON. Just some information that uh, we thought we'd put out there for some folks that are living in uh, eastern Arkansas. We do have uh, one tornado warning, and that's over in north central Arkansas County, and that's in southeastern Arkansas, and that'll be going on until about uh, 415 Severe thunderstorms capable of producing a tornado is located near Elmira, and it's moving northwest at 25 miles per hour. And just uh, information, we have uh, quite a few uh, flood warnings in the state, basically from the uh, state line between Arkansas and Louisiana on up uh, to just south of uh, Saline and Pulaski County. We do have a flood warning in effect. Uh, basically for the uh, Saline River here in uh, central Saline County. All uh, you know, folks need to be advised about the uh, heavy rain that we've had and any flooding areas that you have in your around your home or around your work or something are more than likely going to be flooding uh, you know, if you have to go to work or come back from work. So just be uh, extra cautious and... Uh, uh, and never cross a uh, flooded roadway ever, ever, ever. KG5 all win, I'll be clear.
at 348, severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Alm or near Stuttgart, moving northeast at 40 miles an hour. This is N5 CGAR Link Skywarn. Um, if uh, anyone has any uh, severe weather that uh, they'd like to report, feel free. Uh, we're looking for uh, if you have measured wind speeds uh, with an actual anemometer, um, measured wind speeds of uh, anything above 30 miles an hour. Uh, if you have uh, any size hail at all and any damage of any kind, uh, uh, of course, phone clouds, tornadoes, the typical obvious things. But uh, if you have any of those to report, call Net Control in 5 cg This is AA5JC operating as N5CG uh, for this Skywarn net. Uh, just to recap, we have a tornado warning in, uh, for parts of Arkansas to Shea. Excuse me, let me back up. That is incorrect. Tornado warning is active for parts of Arkansas, Low Note, and Prairie counties until 4.30 p.m. This is a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado located near Ulm or Stuttgart, moving it northwest at 40 miles an hour. If you know anyone in that area, please contact them and uh, make sure they have uh, taken shelter. If they're a ham radio operator, please ask them to join the net. N5 CG, net control. Central and eastern part of the state. 
JC, I'm back. A5JC, uh, WX0X, no changes, uh, you got the net. I have the net in 5CG, Skyward. CG, W5JDW. Go ahead, Justin. Skyward, yeah. Just woke up, for some reason, Echo Link was disconnected. It's connected back up now if anybody needs it. That's all I've got. Thank you, sir. Uh, once again, uh, anyone have any uh, severe weather that they have observed, uh, any size hail, any damage reports, uh, please call net control. This just in from the National Weather Service. They have canceled the tornado warning for uh, Arkansas, Lone Oak, and Prairie counties. Um, reading over this storm which prompted moved out of the area uh, it's allowed to expire gusty winds are still possible we'll keep the net up for just a moment or two uh, as we uh, continue to see if anyone has any damage reports or uh, reports of severe weather call in 5 CG net control uh, you want Mike at the intersection of Fernwood and Edge Hill. Water on the road is about 14 inches deep. Okay, Mike, your signal is uh, pretty weak. Um, uh, I'm going to ask you to repeat that, but uh, I did copy your name is Mike. You had the, I think I copied, you're at the corner of Fernwood and Edge Hill but I didn't hear what city that was in, so come back with that city, and, uh, and I heard you say it was 14 inches uh, of uh, water over the road. Uh, I just need your call sign in the city. Call sign is Alpha Fox Truck 5 Uniform Yankee. Mike, the city is Benton. That's a good copy. Thank you, Mike. That was a great report, Mike. Thanks for the information, AF5UI. Uh, folks, that's exactly what we need to hear. control, this is K5CPV. Skywar, that up. Kilo 5, Charlie, Papa, Bravo, go ahead. Man, communications with somebody there in Stuttgart. I was just wondering, have you got any new word as to kind of what that's doing over that direction? Yes, sir. They did have a, uh, a tornado warning that was radar indicated, but they've had no reports of damage, uh, no report of a, a uh, uh, touchdown that anyone has witnessed, um, and they have actually uh, canceled that tornado warning. Go ahead. Roger that, net control. I appreciate you. Just, I just wanted to relay the message to them. This is K5CPB clear. Thank you, sir. If you find out of any uh, uh, damage reports or anyone who actually witnessed a tornado there, let me know, please. AA5JC and 5CG net control. Net control. K5CPB clear. QST, QST. This is N5CG Skywarn net control. The National Weather Service in Little Rock has issued a tornado warning. This is radar indicated for parts of Arkansas, Deshaies, and Monroe counties until 5 p.m. Uh, at 4.13, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located seven miles southwest of Crumrod, or eight miles south of White River National Wildlife Refuge, moving north at 45 miles per hour. All hazards remain in play, including tornado uh, force winds. Uh, excuse me, that's tropical storm force winds. Uh, I'm not used to uh, seeing that acronym here in Arkansas. Uh, anyone who has damage reports or reports of any type of severe weather that you've witnessed, uh, please call net control. Uh, another point to note, folks, if you know anyone in the uh, Ferndale or Perrin area, specifically anyone northwest of Salem, uh, you might uh, give them a call. That's going to be in uh, parts of uh, parts of uh, Faulkner 
Orange County, or excuse me, parts of Saline County and parts of Pulaski County. Uh, but that area right around Salem, Ferndale, and Perrin, uh, make sure that they are taking shelter. There's not a tornado warning for that area, but there is a s small amount of rotation in that storm that's passing through there right now. If there's anyone on the net that's in that area around uh, Salem, Perrin, or Ferndale, please call to check in now if you're in or around Salem, Perrin, and Ferndale. Skyward, net up. Be advised, the National Weather Service is looking at the storm near Parker's Corner on the Lone Oak Prairie County line. Uh, so if you're in that area and you can report what you observe safely, please call net control. control. 
and 5 CG. The National Weather Service in Little Rock is continuing a tornado warning issued for parts of Arkansas and Monroe counties until 5 p.m. At 4.39 p.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over St. Charles or 10 miles north of White River National Wildlife Refuge, moving north at 50 miles an hour. Anyone in or around Arkansas County is cautioned to take shelter, and if you can do so safely, please let us know your weather observations. In 5 CG.
Greenbrier, Ward, Valonia, Baldna, Mayflower, Austin in Lono County, Judsonia, Kensett, Worcester, Apello, Higginson and Rosebud. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. This is W5RHS Repeater. Uh, keep your heads up. 
I'm going to take this right back down just that fast. A5JC. Shot in the dial. A R link. System net. Please wait. Acknowledge net is over. Remote link off. 